Welcome back to this new tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to create nerve scans using a free tool called Luma AI. Nerve means neural radiance fields which is a relatively new method to scan your environment and create amazing camera animations with it. I recently used it to create this animation for a client. The difference to traditional photogrammetry approaches is that it utilizes artificial intelligence and allows you to also capture metallic and reflective surfaces. So let me show you how this is done. First we need to record a video of our subject. I use my iPhone for this one. You don't really need to have an expensive camera to create nerve scans. Move around the subject in circles and try to go around it at least three times. Always capturing different heights in order to cover as many perspectives as possible. Here are a few more tips from Luma AI itself. Pause the video and read them before starting to capture. Once you have the video recorded, simply go to lumalabs.ai, click on My Captures and upload it to their servers to start the process. Once the scan is done processing, which usually takes around 30 minutes, we can take a look at it in the 3D viewport. And I am actually really happy with this scan, I think it turned out really nice and we can take a look at it from all different angles. I actually want to export this as a video, so first we have to make a camera animation. In order to do this, let's go up to the top right corner and click on the reshoot button. And before we start, we need to set the focal length of the camera. So if I bring this up to a higher value, like 50 for example, we are zoomed in even more. And if I bring this to a lower value, for around 15, you can see that we have more of this fish eye field of view. Now in order to start animating the camera, place it wherever you want to start and then click on this add keyframe button. Now we can move around wherever we want to have the camera next. So I'm gonna place it all the way over here and add in another keyframe. You can add in as many keyframes as you want. So I'm just gonna continue over here. Let's go up a bit, add in another one, then maybe turn even more, add in our last keyframe. Now we can simply press play and take a look at this. And I think this already looks quite nice. However, it is very fast. So in order to make this longer, let's go to the last keyframe. And currently you can see that we are at six seconds. So in order to make this longer, simply take it, drag it out here. Now we're at seven seconds. So let's increase it even more to let's say 10 seconds. Then I just wanna distribute those other keyframes on the timeline. And let's have a look at this again. And you can see now this is already a lot smoother and I think this looks amazing. I'm happy with the animation, so let's start rendering this. So let's go over here, render video. And first of all, we can choose the aspect ratio. So you have a few different options or you can choose a custom one, but I think I'm just gonna go with 16 by nine and set the resolution to full HD. I leave it at 30 FPS and then simply click on render to start exporting. If you are lazy, you can also use one of the preset camera animations. So simply go to trajectories and we could, for example, choose orbit. And now you can see that the camera just simply rotates around our subject in a perfect loop. Or we can switch to oscillate, which is gonna add just a little bit of movement to the camera. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you could learn something new. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Finally, I just quickly want to mention that you can download all the 3D assets I create on my Blender Kit profile for free. I'm going to put the link to it in the video description. Feel free to check it out. My name is Nick, see you in the next one.